You just love this job. <laughs> Let's just leave it then. Loads more things we could be doing instead. Oh, yeah? Like what? You haven't kissed me in at least ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but well, it does kind of suit you. <laughs> You're making it worse. No, I'm not. <laughs> so what should we do with ourselves this evening? Fancy another early night? Definitely. But I'm doing a shift at the shop in a bit. Well, we'll just have to save it till later then. Still got 20 minutes now, though. <laughs> Yeah, I've been up all night. I've got an emergency appointment. <laughs> yeah, will do. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Did they buy it? You're sick and I've got a dentist appointment. You are going to get me shot, you know that, don't you, Jake? Oh, come on. <laughs> Dad's back tomorrow, so we've got to make it special. It's our last day. What have you got in mind? Want to take out some zombies? Oh, bring it on. I will take you down to Chinatown. <laughs> She's really sick. I woke up red hot this morning, didn't you, Jacob? Yeah, my throat's killing me. <coughs> oh, no. And to add insult to injury, I've got an emergency dentist appointment. Crack my filling. Send him round to mine if you want. I know how needy he can be when he's ill. It's hard work. I promised David that I'd keep an eye on him. Don't want to let him down. Yeah, but if you're feeling ropey yourself... Oh, we'll just dose up on painkillers. Go on, Jacob, go home. I won't be long behind. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll probably just end up in bed for the rest of the day anyway. Oh, I can't believe you've just beat me. Ha, not so cocky now, Mr Ewok 549. <laughs> I wish Dad didn't have to come back. I've loved it being just me and you. Yeah, me too. Although we've got the rest of today and all of tonight. <laughs> Sorry if you're dragging me back here. Huh, don't worry about it. How is it, eh, Matty? All right. Well, she was buying in paracetamol, but I think he needs to see a doctor. The cavalry's here now. Hello? Dad. What are you doing here? Um, Tracy ran. She said that she was worried about you looking after him when you were feeling poorly yourself. I'm absolutely fine. Oh, you said you had toothache. I thought you were up against it. Oh, no, no, feeling much better, yeah. Jacob and I have just been lying low, haven't we? There was no need for you to come back. David, I'm so sorry. I've totally got this all wrong. No, it's fine. Just missed a free dinner and karaoke. Oh, next time I'll engage my brain before I stick in my size fags. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I'm glad you're feeling better and hope you are too. I'll get myself off. Sorry. Something tells me that Tracy's missing being a step mm, Someone's in demand, JK. So like having all these women fussing over you. <laughs> Great. Thank you for looking after him. I really owe you one. Oh, come here, I've missed you so much. Mm. Any of that translating to, sorry, Trace, I was out of order? I've got revision. Yeah, you also have manners. Or you used to. Tracy was bad-mouthing Maya, your girlfriend. Problem? Nope. And Tracy wasn't. You just seem to be looking for a row. I'm allowed to have an opinion. And if she can't handle me not taking her side, then that's her problem. You were really hard on her, mate, and she's been good to you. I want you to say sorry. Why should I? She needs to know that I meant what I said about her backing off. Do you know what, mate? As soon as you're so grown up, you can make your own tea tonight. Because I'm doing nothing for you until you say sorry to her, all right? I'm going to go lock up. Thank you. He never sticks up for you. He doesn't deserve you. That's why he doesn't have me. Just simple, beautiful things are what's required here, Pete. <laughs> Enough about you, David. <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask you, do you think I'm ageing well? Because I think I might have peaked. Oh, you've definitely peaked, mate. Hey! I, I think it's 22 for blokes. What? Oh, brilliant. You've just ruined what's left of my life. Uh, for women? Mid-40s. Why is the world so mean to men? Yeah, what do you think of this one? Yeah, 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 that's brilliant if you're looking to get dumped. 
Next time we get a chance to be together and she snaps her fingers, just say no. You look all old when you frown like that. What's tripping his face up? Dead to mention homework. Ah, you see? She says the hard stuff and I look brilliant. Yeah, I won't give. <laughs> Bear's bill. Although, duck's bill would have been funnier. <laughs> yeah, he uh, forgot to settle before he left. We're thrilled he's not heading off. Eric needs a new friend in case Rodney dies. Wow. Bed and three breakfasts. Yeah, uh, cash. We'll be fine. Oh. Uh, absolutely no chance, lady. Your purse will pad his pockets. I mean, I like the guy, but no way am I going Dutch on a human money pit. So, um, what exactly were they saying? Just general stuff about performance, but if a concern's raised, there has to be a meeting. Thanks for agreeing to meet me here. If we'd done this in your office and it was all formal, it would have made it a lot harder than it already is. Yeah, well, this is highly irregular. You seem so anxious on the phone, so... Uh... Look, I need to understand what's happening with you. You're turning up to class, but you're giving your bare minimum. You've stopped coaching the netball team and you're, you're ducking out of lunchtime duties, claiming to be sick when you seem to be fine. I'm worried about you. You've never phoned it in like this. I'm getting control of it. Of what? My divorce from Liam. It's just triggered a lot of negative feelings about myself. Maybe I'm not coping as well as I'm making out. Maya, that's understandable. So until recently, I've just felt that I've not been good at anything, including my job. You know what? You should have just come to me. I was ashamed. But I'm getting help. I'm seeing a counsellor and it's made a difference already. I wish I'd known about this before, you know? Do you need some time off? I don't. The worst of it's over. Well, just make sure that you make some space for yourself, yeah? I know you've been tutoring Jacob in your spare time. You can knock that on the head for a start. Yeah, I'll think about that. And you'll let me know if the school can help you in any way, shape or form? Of course I will. Is there anything else I can do to help? Just trust me. I won't let you down again. Are you sure you don't want to drink? Yeah. There's some leftover lasagna, if you're hungry. Robert made it, so it's decent. Don't tell myself that, obviously, I want to keep him on his toes. Them two out there? Yeah. Yeah, baby thing. We'll be back for ages. Look, I asked to see you, but... You go. Uh, no, you. I suppose I just... I wanted to say that I get it. Well, you don't want to spend much time with me anymore. And, you know, I've been thinking about stuff. I know I said what I said, but um, some people like me just kind of do it anyway, you know, to keep the other person happy. What? Look, I don't know if I'd be okay with it. But, um, if you want, we could try. Have sex, I mean. Oh. Thanks. But I don't want to. It's fine, Jacob. You don't have to pretend that you're OK without it. <sighs> That's not it. Not at all. Well, just tell me the truth then, Jacob. I can handle it. <laughs> you don't. What? Sorry. I just... Yeah. You don't. Better? Better. Hey, don't fall asleep. I want to. I want to fall asleep with you and wake up next to you and do all that stuff. 
Right when Dad was away. I want that forever. Yeah, we will. Just have to wait a while. I'll go away. We should get up. No, wait. See? Still. Dad could be back any minute. This is the last time we have in ages. When I break up with him, well, we won't have an excuse anymore. Suppose. We have to make it look like this started after you left school. It's the only way we've got a chance. You do understand that, don't you? Of course. So can we just stay here like this for a while? it last for as long as we've got yeah yeah we can he doesn't want to talk to me You're tough you can't keep treating people like this he's acting like a child yes girls what can i do you for um, she's looking for Jacob. Have you seen him? Uh, no, I've just got back. Oh, if you spot a speckled bird, there's money in it, apparently. We tried next door, but no one answered. Yeah, I'll be listening to his music. Uh, just go through. Oh, and tell him he only gets one set of eardrums, will you? Cheers. Right, call me after then, yeah? Come on. Will we get, like, a place together? I'll find us somewhere. <laughs> I could get a job. I'll pay for it. Uh, you will be going to college. You won't be my teacher anymore, so you won't even get a say. <laughs> it's going to be like that now, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be like that. You're getting all bumpy on me. <laughs> Seriously, now. It's going to be hard. Everyone's going to have an opinion. Your family's going to hate it. Hate me. They'll try and keep us apart, accuse me of all sorts of things. I don't care. We can run away if we have to. I love you. Liv, what are you doing? Who's your friend? No one. I knew it. I knew it wasn't enough. No, shut up, that's not it. Who is she, Jacob? No one. You're lying, I know you are. She wasn't... We weren't doing anything. No lynch mob, then. I'm guessing you haven't told Aaron. What do you want? Just to let you know that I've handled the situation. David's missing loads of booze. He thinks it's you. <laughs> wow, I'm terrified. Well, Jacob's told him everything. How he's been struggling with his alcoholic girlfriend. How you've fallen off the wagon in spectacular style, stealing from the shop. Jacob, have you said that? Oh, yeah. One word of what you saw, and he'll tell your brother too. Imagine how disappointed he would be. No, I won't believe it. Well, then we'll get the police involved too. Arrange another visit to the young offenders for theft. Just when you've been getting back on track. All that hard work trying to turn yourself around for nothing. Wouldn't that be a shame? Yeah. It will be. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. I reckon you've got more to lose. Your job, for a start. I think they take perving on kids a bit more seriously than nicking. My dad got 18 years before he killed himself. You don't want to push me. No. What's it worth? 
What's it worth? Because you sound desperate. Fine. If that's the way you want to play things. I'll go get Jacob. See you back at yours. Five grand. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you want me to keep quiet, that's what it'll cost. <laughs>